who love his plain speaking, <laughs> straight shooting, no nonsense approach to solving callers' problems. You tune in to his nationally syndicated talk show every day to hear the wise insight and savvy advice he gives to his callers. You see, caller, what you got there is a can opener. You use it to open cans. A can opener? Huh. I never made the connection. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Obvious. You're a lifesaver. Yeah, that's what I'm here for, caller. He's Mr. <laughs> Obvious, America's favorite answer man. There's not a situation that he can't handle with his sage-like wisdom and his quick-draw wit. Well, waste not, what not, caller. <laughs> and now, Bob and Tom Productions is proud to present a side of Mr. Obvious you never heard before. Ah, oh, sh**. I hit my head. <laughs> Damn that smart. Uh oh. oh was, was my mic on? <laughs> now you can hear for the first time the Mr. Obvious that the censors didn't want you to hear. Oh. It's Mr. Obvious, too hot for radio. Oh, Mr. Obvious, too hot for radio. We can't even play it for you in this commercial. It's just too hot. So, uh, Mr. Obvious, I... I, I can't figure out why it's not working. Oh, well, well, I can tell you why it's not working. Oh, oh yeah? Why, why is that? It's because you're a stupid f***ing idiot. That's why it's not working, you dumb What? Uh, cut. John, you can't say that on the air. Look, I'm sorry, but what the f***? Man, this dip doesn't even know how to operate his toaster. Come on, Bill. Don't we have anyone screening these damn calls? All right, all right. Settle down, John. Don't settle down, John. Me <laughs> and where the f are those pictures I was supposed to see? Get down on the phone. If I don't get those f pictures in here by two o'clock, I'm gonna walk off this mother. F are you hear me, Bill? Hey, I'm not f you. I've got f you money. You know what that means, Bill? That means I've got enough money that I can say f you, Bill. Now give me some decent f them callers on the phone. These calls are ponderous, man. Ponderous. All right, John. We'll take care of it. And where's my orange smoothie? Damn it! I asked for a Kim Orange smoothie like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Mr. Obvious. Raw. Uncut. Uncensored. So, you see my point, caller? Um, but no, no, I don't, Mr. Obvious. It, that's got to be the stupidest f thing I've ever heard. I'm sorry, wait a minute. What did you say, you piece of sh**? You heard me. <laughs> Look, we've got caller ID. I'm going to have a couple of my gorillas down there getting medieval on your ass. How do you like that, Mr. Tuffy? Huh? I'll make you think stupidest thing you ever heard. I'll be watching from my yacht while the cops are fishing your bloated carcass out of the <laughs> river next week, pal. Hey, hey, look, take it easy, Mr. Obvious. Uh, I was just kidding. Oh, yeah, I just kidding, huh? Sounds like you just made the connection, right? You just made the f***ing connection, <laughs> didn't you, mother <laughs> huh? Mr. Obvious, too hot for radio. <laughs> so you don't forget, call before midnight tonight. If you order in the next 30 minutes, you'll also get Mr. Obvious bloopers, blunders, and practical jokes. You'll hear Mr. Obvious pulling off Hilarious prank phone calls on unsuspecting listeners. Hello? Ah, uh, yes, hello, caller. I mean, sir, <laughs> is your wife at home? Uh, uh no, she, she's not here right now. Yeah, I know, because she's right here with my d*** in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> to order Mr. Obvious Too Hot for Radio and the bonus tape, Mr. Obvious Bloopers, Blunders, and Practical Jokes, call 1-800-EACH. That's 1-800-EACH. <laughs> and so, Mr. Obvious, that was the last time I ever saw her alive. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, caller. You've obviously mistaken me for someone who gives a sh**. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a moron. Order your tapes today. Oh. <laughs>